I'm Luke Mosley, and we're talking vectors. Vectors have both magnitude and direction. Magnitude describes how big something is. Direction describes what direction it's moving. Vectors are in the same family as scalars, but scalars only have magnitude or direction. Without vectors, air traffic controllers couldn't get planes to stay away from each other. <laughs> now, most vector problems are to do with movement. I mean, vectors can describe forces, velocities, but movement are the easiest things to see. In this triangle, we can have the vector from A to B, here. But the same vector can also describe B to C, here. It can also describe E to D, here. Go. Thank you. However, what about describing B to E, here? And the same vector can describe C to D, here. Now, with those just two vectors, we can describe any movement around this grid whatever. Go. What about getting from A to F? Well, there's two different ways we could do that. Way one, A, B, in. B, E, in. E, D, in. And D, F, in. We've got two greens, two reds. Go. Or we could describe A, B. Back you come, A, B. B, C, here you are, B, C. C, D, thank you, C, D. And D, F. Same pathway, start to finish is at the same place. Two greens, two reds. <laughs> we just saw a moment ago how we could travel from A to F using two greens and two reds. We can show that numerically, and this is the crux of your GCSE question. Two greens, well, one green is one across and two up. So two greens would be two across and four up. Reds are one across and two down. So two reds would be two across and four down. Now, if we add them together, We've got two across and four up, plus two across and four down. That's going to be four across and none up or down. Bring it in. And you can see that's what we've got to get from A to F. It's four across and none down. I'm Luke Mosley. This is John Carr High School. Thank you. <laughs> There's a crisis. This vector needs you. With just 10 minutes of revision a day, you can give hope to a lonely, Vector. All these people are helping. Are you?